what's up everybody Malekith here and this is going to be an update video to let you know what's been going on with the channel and why there's not been any videos recently and all the other fun stuff that I've been having to deal with recently so before we get started the video in the background is a game called Cloud Pirates it is free to play available on Steam I think you can also get it direct from their website um, I've just put it up there so there's something for you to watch while I talk it's it's a reasonably good game actually you might see some more footage uh, from me in the future especially playing as a group with uh, dropkick and co it's it's good fun but uh, anyway back to what's been going on with the channel so as most of you will have noticed there haven't been many videos for the last few weeks and that is because disney are bastards basically so to give that some context the channel was partnered with a company called maker now maker were bought out I think it was about a year ago by Disney and what that meant was Maker sort of you know they partnered up the channel they dealt with all the adverts they dealt with all the revenue getting paid they dealt with all the copyright claims and all the arguments you have with various people and whatever and recently Disney decided you know what we 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 don't like the what's going on with Maker so within Maker there was two groups Polaris which is like Total Biscuit and Jesse Cox and all those kind of guys when they started out um, somehow I ended up in that group and the other part was Maker Gen which is the vast majority of other people now they, they put out a public announcement saying Maker Gen is all being dropped all those guys are going to be taken out of their contracts they're all going to have to go find you know new partners because they don't represent Disney's values and so therefore we don't want them which is a bit of a dick move but you can kind of see why Disney might do that you know it's not very Disney to have people running around playing GTA um yeah just basically that so they got you know removed i think it was about a month ago and all went off and nicely found some uh, new places to hang their hat got some new partnerships and everything else and nobody told the guys at polaris anything or definitely i never received anything and i haven't done for the last year so then a couple of weeks ago go to log in one day and oh look all of my stuff's been removed from the partnership so now I've now got copyright claims from fake companies left, right, and center. Nothing is monetized anymore. Uh, half my features are now missing from YouTube. It was just a mess. So I went and looked into joining a new network and lovely YouTube had put in a new policy, which then meant you had to have an AdSense account to get partnered as of April. I tried setting it up two days after that came in, fun times. So for the past however many weeks that I haven't been putting out videos, I've been waiting for Google to approve my AdSense account because they decided they needed to review every video on my channel. Bearing in mind I've been doing this a while now, that is, let me have a look, it's a silly number, uh, 2,468 videos. Now I'm sure it was an automated system, but it took a while. And that whole time I wasn't partnered, I didn't have half my features for scheduling releases and stuff and so that's where my channel's been with no content recently it sucked uh fortunately that is all over now i seem to have uh, been approved for an adsense account i'm now i guess partnered direct with google through their adsense system i could go join another network i guess if i wished but um they didn't seem to really do much for me so i don't think uh, i will worry about it for the moment a couple of things came up the, a couple of videos couldn't be monetized because they found the title was non-advertiser friendly. Apparently putting rocket incoming in your title doesn't go down so well. So you may see some of the videos that you're used to looking at are now called different things. Um, I had to go through and fix a few of them to be more advertiser friendly. Bearing in mind they gave me no hint as to what was wrong with it or what I should make it. So it's best guess, so you may see a couple more of them change again once they finish their next round of reviews. So that's where we're at. I'm now able to make and upload videos again. And the problem I'm now having is there's a complete lack of games I actually want to record or think that you guys will find interesting to watch. So uh, we've got Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, we've got Rocket League, and we've got Cloud Pirates. But none of them are particularly substantial, shall we say. They're kind of, you know, round based. I mean, pretty much every round is mostly the same. They're the kind of thing that goes nicely if you play a hell of a lot of them and then cut them into a montage, which unfortunately I don't play enough of them to do. So I'm basically taking suggestions for games in comments. 
don't say Mountain Blade. If you haven't worked out by now that I'm not playing Mountain Blade Warband, you should really look at the probably 200 replies elsewhere that explain exactly why. Um, yes, I will be looking at Bannerlord when it comes out. I will also be looking at War of Rights, Battle Cry of Freedom, and Hold Fast uh, when those finally get round to releasing. So I just will not be going back to Warband. I have 1,500 hours or something silly on it. Um, and running a regiment used to take 40 hours a week. I don't have 40 hours a week spare anymore. Uh, after getting a job, those 40 hours a week are mostly spent there. So unfortunately, running a regiment of that sort of size in that game is not going to happen. So you won't be getting those videos back. Uh, the other games going forwards, I may set up a regiment in those. And we will see how that goes. It will be a little smaller to start with and a bit more casual. And then we'll see how it progresses and how the other guys that join feel about it. And maybe we'll try and grow it. I suspect out of all of the games I listed, Hold Fast is probably the one closest to playable. War of Rights still has a lot of issues. Um, last I checked, you couldn't even have two teams in a server. You had to have Union or Confederate, not Union and Confederate. So you couldn't even shoot at anybody. And it's kind of a major thing that's missing in a game where you're meant to shoot the other team. Um, Battlecry of Freedom is missing in action and has been for a while. And well... The last time anyone predicted when Tail Worlds was going to release a game, uh, probably got crucified for being so horribly wrong, seeing as Warband is, what, eight years old now? It may be older, I'm not sure. It's been a long time, they should have got it here by now, but they seem to just be uh, taking whatever time they feel they need, which could be a good thing, but a little more information would be nice. So yeah, suggestions and comments, be greatly appreciated. Uh, one game I will talk about briefly is Crowfall. It's a pre-alpha, so it's nowhere near done, um, MMO, but it's a, you pay up front to buy it, and after that you don't have to pay again, you get all your features, and it's mostly PvP based, there's no XP grind, so it's a different MMO to a lot of the, the usual WoW type clones. I will do a separate video that kind of showcases as much as is available, because they are letting people do videos, which is nice. You can also go Google videos now, there's plenty around. I will do my best to explain all the features in its own independent video. Anyway, hopefully this chat hasn't rambled on past the length of the Cloud Pirates game I recorded, and I will leave you to watch the rest of that. Unfortunately, there will be no voiceover because I was doing it in silence as I knew I was going to be talking this over it later. So thank you for listening, and let me know what you think in the comments. Bye for now.